Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the final level in unfinished business called the hive. This lever doesn't do anything because we pulled it in the previous level to end it. These two Atlanteans are just chilling here. We will unchill them in few seconds. Over here we have this checkerboard that activates the boulders above us. So what I like to do is get on this black tile, jump to the right, immediately jump to the left, move forward. Then as soon as I stand on this white tile, Jump to the right again, and jump left, and then just move forward. This lever will activate one Atlantean. He got me, but that's okay. This lever will activate another Atlantean. Now going back through the middle. Because in the middle I've activated all boulder traps. Now you can skip this boulder room and those two Atlanteans by falling down here. I'm gonna save to show you that. But we will get into this room in like... 20 seconds. So over here I like to position myself like this, then run and jump, jump again, and again. And then you have to keep jumping and hold right until you end up on that unslidable slope. Then I like to stand on this tile over here so that I can jump left and right while shooting the Atlantean. Then equip the shotgun to shoot the flying guy over here. Down here we have first and only secret in this level.
Jumping on this tile opened that door to the right. Jumping on that tile opens the door on the left. Both doors lead to same place, so I'm gonna choose the right door. But there are two pickups that I wanna get here. The doors are timed. As you can see. So going through the right one is simple enough. Just hop here. Hop again. And that's it. Now in here, the goal is to get on that bacon. That bacon tile. You can fall down and get to it, but I'm gonna jump from here. And as soon as I land on the bacon tile, these two eggs will hatch. Now I forgot to mention this lever over here, it opens the timed door we came through, in case you missed something and you want to go back, otherwise there is no need to pull it. From here you either want to jump over there, on the other bacon, but beware of that lava, or you can jump like this. If you fall down, you have to climb over here. And then we have to jump on that final bacon. This Centaur Atlantean will activate as soon as I stand on this white tile. Down here are two Uzi pickups. There are six pickups in this water, three in the middle and three on the sides. But first, I like to get rid of Atlanteans over here. This guy can shoot, so he's a priority target. These three guys, they can't shoot, so they are an easy prey. Okay, now over here are lots of Uzi pickups.
getting these Uzi clips will spawn two Atlanteans that can shoot you. In this water, in 3 out of 4 corners, there is a small med pack in each corner, and there are also 3 pickups in the middle. In the middle are 2 small med packs and Uzi clips. Since that guy is shooting, I'm gonna go away. In this room are two Centaur Atlanteans. Don't stand near the wall when you fight them because their projectiles explode and deal AoE damage. So even if they don't hit you directly, they can still deal damage to you if their bullets explode near you.
Okay, now there is a large med pack over here and one over there. In this room, we will hatch these three eggs. The one in the middle is a Centaur Atlantean. Now, this is how I like to hatch them. As soon as I stand on this first white tile near the water, I'm gonna hatch this Flying Atlantean and a Centaur Atlantean. And then I'm gonna bail out because they can't leave the room. Then from here, I can shoot them. Shoot the Centaur Atlantean because he can't shoot back. And then activate the final guy by standing on this second white tile from him. <laughs> then get the large med pack. First, open the right lever. The right one opens the left door that has many pickups. The left one opens the right door, which also has many pickups, but we also have to go that way. And now we can leave. And now we are back here. Now the main goal is to Climb that middle part in this room. Before going in this room, there's a pickup here to the left. <coughs> there are two doors, both of them lead to the same room. But I like to go through the right one, and then as soon as I stand on the first white tile, 
behind the door, I'm gonna be in a sweet spot for the Atlantean that spawns in this room. Picking up one of these shotgun shells will activate this room and it will allow the Atlanteans to activate. Okay, so it was this pickup with shotgun shells. So now I like to equip my shotgun and I would advise you to save and then run in circle around these holes and come back in the middle. That will activate few Atlanteans, then run around another hole to activate more, and so on. There is usually one that doesn't want to activate for me, and he always activates when I stand, like over here. Okay, now we can leave this room and go through this door over here. This room has four eggs that will spawn four flying Atlanteans. To activate the eggs, just get here. And then you can catch them one by one. All these flying Atlanteans can shoot you as soon as they spawn. Now this is where we came from. And now we have to go that way. 
This room has a centaur Atlantean and many eggs around him. They will all hatch at the same time and we have to kill all of them. Nah, I'm just kidding. All eggs that you see here are empty. And you might remember this room from the previous level with that Centaur Atlantean. This is the window from the previous level. Over here are some pickups. Some of these eggs do have Atlantean in them, some of them don't. But as soon as you spawn them, you are already in their sweet spot, so... They are really easy to kill. And that should be it. Now this is where we came from. There is a lever over here. That leads to a room with a huge egg. We have a big boss fight. Not really. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough, I really appreciate it. If you liked it, give it a like, dislike if you think it sucked, and I'll see you in... So just like in the original, if you start a new game immediately after the credits, in your next playthrough as a reward you get all weapons with infinite ammo. And it's so cool.